Okay, today we're going to be talking about the Jacobson asymmetric epoxidation. Uh, we're going to take a look at this right here. You're going to need a compound and assist confirmation here, R large RS, R large pointing to the northwest, Wyoming. And we've got um, a bleaching agent here and Jacobson's catalyst, which I'll show you in a sec. But basically here, all you need to know is if you have R large here, R small here, and the um, RR version of the Jacobs, uh, Jacobson catalyst, it will give you the alpha product or the epoxide on the alpha side. And if you have the SS version, it'll give you the epoxide on the beta side. So let's take a look at what Jacobson's catalyst is. It's this complex right here. This is what uh, the stereo centers are referring to, RR or SS. Um, and in order to make uh, the epoxide, you first need to add this bleaching agent here to add this oxygen right here. And you'll notice that there are um, some steric, uh, there's steric hindrance here, which makes uh, the only way for the, um, the cis product to approach from this angle right here, which is why you make the epoxide from here. And let's take a look at a literature example. Um, right here, this would be flipped over, so R large is right here, um, and RS is right here. Um, so then if you have the SS version of this catalyst, then you'll get the uh, alpha product. 